Hello everybody and welcome back to the Texit uh, storage facility. Uh, so last time we made a solar panel, this time we're going to attempt to make some leadstone stuff. Uh, starting with a lead... Starting with an energy conduit. Energy conduit? Uh, oh, um, where's the blue kid? Hang on a minute. What? Oh, here. Energy cell basic, that's what we need. Energy cell. Energy ah. cell. Basic. Okay, how do I make a. Okay, so first of all, redstone conducts the coil, which is electro. Oh, fuck. What? It goes straight into electrum? Sure, we, we skip gold and go straight to electrum. Lovely, that seems to me. Sense to me. Uh, energy cell frame is four iron ingot, four glass, and a bit of lead. I laid gear, so we'll get the glass. We'll get. We'll, we'll pick up some glass first, shall we? Well, you know what I mean. Let's get this sand. Let's ravage the local environment just for building. Well, to be fair, that's a very Eggman thing to do, actually, isn't it? What robotic thing to do? Just completely ravage the local environment for resources, and then build ridiculous machines that often blow up in one's own face. Uh, right, we're going to tree tap this while we're here. Oh, we've actually got a lot of tree sap here. Does these things just continually produce rubber if I just leave it? Come to think of it. Should I just leave it and just stonks rubber? Is that, is that a thing you can do? Just... Uh, uh, right, I'm going to stick that extra rubber in there, extra rubber saplings in there. That in there, the wheat in there, the apples. Flour. Right, what have we got? We've got. Um, <coughs> right, we've got. Lead to smelt, and we've got. We need to. Not some lead. I got any extra random wood. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Just go and collect a bit more wood. So, actually, I guess I could just... Yeah, I could just blow this up, couldn't I? Oh, and that's even more rubber, sure. I'm just going to turn all of this into sticks! Stick! And grab all of this lovely stuff. All in the chest down here. Make another crank for this. So I can. Wow, how does it make electrum? I think it's silver and gold, isn't it? Can I make electrum blend before I. Before I start grinding shit, can I physically make electrum blend? Okay. Yeah. Pulverous, one pulverous silver, one pulverous gold. So, I need to smelt my couple bits of silver, which isn't the most efficient thing to do, but it's fine. I've got plenty of co uh, bleh, charcoal. Uh, there's the glass part. Right. Was it four lead to make the gear? Four iron, and then, yeah. So, boink, 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 boink. Lead gear attained. Um, then what, four iron did I say? Yeah, four iron, four glass. Oh, I've got five glass in there anyway. Oh. Right. That is the energy cell frame. Lovely and delicious. First of many, hopefully. Oh, I mean, to be fair, we will be probably upgrading this as time goes by. I think I can upgrade energy cells. Yeah, no. <coughs> oh. No. I think I have to use upgrades for it, I think. I think I have to make, like, um... Upgrade. Uh, ah, here we go. It's these. So, Harden Upgrade Kit. So, for instance, I can make f use four invert var bronze and that to make it to the next tier of... Which we'll probably do. We'll try and get this as high level as we can. Since it's not too difficult once I've got the, um, that crusher, th the 
the quartz grindstone to do that. I will also probably make a non man uh, an automatic crusher, simply to a double up ores. B, uh, it's just a lot quicker and it's a lot more efficient and it's a lot less annoying and various other things. And also, I can potentially make cobble into uh, sand or gravel or whatever, which is a lot easier to do. Well, it's a lot easier to because I could. It's 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 better than scooping up sand from the local environment. Weirdly enough. Anyway, <coughs> what other elements do I need? Uh, so I need eight gold. I need one solitary golden ingot and one of these. Doesn't really matter. Okay, and put down the crank. Just wind this up for a bit. <laughs> Don't worry, I am very good at winding things up. Oh. No! Oh. That's a good job I honked, otherwise that would have broken another one of them. Uh, again, back to very inefficient uh, processing. Actually, I am going to harvest this other tree as well, talking about thinking of whilst that's doing. And grab any saplings from here. I genuinely think this is the way to do it, just every so often just mine them. Get any rubber that I can see, mine them, and repeat the process. Uh, I'm going to just stick these in the chest, in the chest for now. Um, is it worth... no, not at the moment. I was going to say, is it worth me upgrading this to the next level? Uh, right. I am going to get that electric man there. Right, it's two redstone, isn't it? Yeah, I do. Right. So I've got the conductance coil. Yep. What do I need next? Uh, energy cell base. How do I? I think I can mark some for bookmarks. No. Um, so I need two lead ingots again and an entire block of redstone. Fine. Two binyats. Okay, uh, so, a boink. In place, doink, 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 and we have an energy cell basic. Now, what we could do with this is we can put it, so we can send it up to our Bingers! solar array, um, which currently is only one solar panel, which is fine, and we can hopefully start generating power. Now, is that starting to fill up with power? No. Right, we need to make some wires there, and some cables. Um, I think I'm gonna... is there a universal cable? Uh, actually, let's just see if a copper cables work. Ooh, I almost died. Almost. Right. Copper cable. Oh, there's some diamonds there, I didn't notice that before. Oh wait, no I did. Right. Ah. Configuration. Hmm? Don't want to... On. Why is this not? I'll figure this out soon. You watch, these are probably completely incompatible with each other. Is there a is there a solar generator for this though? Come on. 
Um, machines. No, they're all different dynamos, aren't they? Do we have extra utils in here? We do. Do we have the extra utilities generators in here then? We do. Right, where's the blinking sunny generator? Potion, pink, overclock, explosive, over world portal. Where the bally heck is that? You're telling me this one doesn't have a blinking soul generator, which I know actually Utils 2 at some point did have a soul generator. It wasn't very good and it used a lot of em diamonds, but it was good because it had a lot of... That's fine. <laughs> I could live with that. Oh, pants. Um... <coughs> right. So, ow, my foot is... Ow, 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 my foot, my foot. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. This is a wireless RF battery. Uh, require it requires four grid power. Bogger. But then again, I guess we can make the other kind of solar panel, and it could be fine. Stone dead. What's that? Oh, I just have to put. Oh, I have to use a resonator. I have to build a resonator for that. <laughs> Which I could, in theory, do. Um. Hmm. Is it overclocked? Pink. I'm trying to think like what I could do. Oh, hang on a minute. No, that's not going to help in this case. It also requires more grid power. Hang on a minute. Quantum. What the fuck was that? Quantum quarry. How I build that? Oh, it's this. It's complicated. It's complicated. Uh huh. I could go to the deep dark. Which is a probably a bad idea. Uh, furnace, magmatic, culinary. Hmm, I could make a culinary generator, huh? Maybe. I'm just trying to think how I can get um my stuff to work. I do need meat for that though. Which isn't too bad. Right, I need to... Hang on a minute. Okay, I, have, I think I have an idea. Ooh, mechanical miner. What does a mechanical miner do? We'll, we'll figure that out soon. Right. Right, right, right. Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. What do I do? What do I do? Hmm. What do I do? Right. tell you what we could do. We could work towards a culinary generator and we could make a ground trap. Now a ground trap, what it does is it will periodically just generate food fr from bait. Which means you don't necessarily have to have a farm to have meat basically. Just three string, four sticks and so as long, provided we can get some um, some wood, which should be relatively easy enough, we should be able to make that fairly easy. Because I've got a source of string, so I could even make multiple traps and maybe automate it somehow. I don't know, like with some hoppers or something. Uh, do do answer in the comments because I probably won't have done it by the end of this episode or whatever. Well, I suppose by the time it goes live, I might figure it out. But just in case, answer in the comments. Um, does do Pam's Harvest Craft blocks have an ability to? Do they have the function to output into a hopper? You know, like in the same way that um, chests, you know, like chests can with like it's it's been done in, um, uh, you know, uh, row like dungeons where you've got that like chest, furnace, furnace. No, it's like chest, furnace, chest kind of thing. So it's got like this complex system of hoppers so that you can pretty much be that like. I guess pneumatically rather than electronically, you can just pneumatically automate production. So you could do that. I would I would start automating it so you can all like eventually so you can all somehow output into one chest, and it will be all be Papi Rose, I guess. Uh, right. Anyway, I am going to. 
I'm gonna plant up just a bunch of these. It's just to get in our inventory. As they were in building we saw before. Right, I'm also gonna grab some of this wild barley. Okay. That fucking disgust. Disgust me. Uh. I don't know. I wonder. We'll have to explore at some point. Out my batty. He did. Me batty. Oh, me batty. Um. Oh, pant. Ooh, sprout. Sprout. And also more string. Which you can't eat, hilariously. Uh, I'm just going to delete the rest of those. Right. So, uh, chest sticks. And what was it? Chest sticks and string. Can I combine Pam's cotton with regular cotton? Um. Alright, how much string do we have in total now? Okay, we have four string, which is about, I think, what we need. Right. Ground trap. We do need more, though, to make the, um... The bait. Although, I could potentially press some stuff. Make a presser, which would just produce bait. And give me, like, improved stuff anyway. Uh, although I would need some, like, carrots. So I need four sticks, I need a trap door. And a chest. So here's the chest. Ooh, pretty. Right. Uh, six this way, isn't it? And it does give you six trapdoors, so we could maybe use them for other things. Uh, boink. Boink, 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 boink. Boink. Hang on. Okay, did a stupid. I think it's this way around? Yeah. Oh, shut up, zombie ball. And it does give me one left. So, so, bait. Bait. So, I think I can make... So there's grain bait, which is barley, wheat... Well, barley, wheat, oats, anything that's, um... Wheaty-based. Fruit, veggie, or fish trap bait. So, oh, hang on a minute. Pulverizer. So, I can make it... Oh, yeah, and it will grind certain things up. So, for example, grain bait pulverize um nutmeg or cinnamon and it will pr and it will always give grain bait as well as secondary output um or fruit and that obviously yeah so i think it is time to be watering some more shit predominantly this stuff and we will just as long as, I think as long as the trap is surrounded by grass blocks, it will produce stuff when bait is inputted. I think. That's how that works. That's how that functions. Um, is there a way in this mod pack to automate water and can production? Like, I, well, actually, no, like, output... Is there a... Is there a machine that can harvest shit? I think there is, but I can't... I don't, that's the thing. There's so many machines in Minecraft mod packs that just straight up do not work. So it's like, hmm. Let me get rid of these. Okay. Because it's 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 one, one actual like. Like food item per, but it's three string per, isn't it? So, so we need to make a bunch of studying. Oh, for fuck's sake! I keep jump. I need to get rid of this block. Uh, let me water and can go on. Right, here it is. Okay. Just 
just a little longer and I think we should have enough studying to make some stuff for this. Uh, yeah, so I have enough to make one. Can I, use, I can't use gaffles, that's fine. I will use my raspberries though to make fruit bait. And I'm going to... See, that's the thing. When you do it the other way and you have a presser, it makes one, I think. It makes one... One boy makes one bed. That's how that works. Um, what we do is hopefully just do this. Uh, I think, where should we put it? Where should we put our trap? Uh, I am... Because it needs to kind of be on a level plane, doesn't it, realistically speaking? What the heck is that? Oh, it's a tree. So what the heck is that up there? Is it... I think we'll stick it here. Hang on. I think it needs to be strong. Mm. Ow, me batty. in that hole. Oh, I just, I, uh, every time. I'll fix that in a second. God damn it! That was a very short day. I will give you that. Very short. Right. Uh, right. Now then. Words. Thinking. Um, hmm. uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Plant this please wherefore art thou this shit there we go and also I think I can make another potentially yeah so I can make another bait oh I can also make a uh, cloth as well ah what oh that's be down the bottom of course it does oh no I'm using bait for, to make bait which is not how that works Although actually, <laughs> use bait to make bait kind of is how how work in real life. What? Okay, we're just gonna put it here. Hopefully, this is not a hole in the ground. Okay. Uh, eight fruit bait going in the thing. Eight fruit bats. I'm also just gonna cover in this hole slowly because it's a bit of a danger hole. Right. Is there any more rubber? Mm, I can't see any rubber, so I'm just going to cut chop down this boy. Okay. And this boy, chop them both down. I really can't be bothered checking at the moment to see if it's rubber, rubber, rubbery. See if there's a rubber ring. Right. I'm going to make these just into just straight up chests, I think. Make a bunch of chests. So I'm going to do this. Why can't I just make a chest with two different types of wood? Fine, I'll just make more sticks and get rid of that. And smelt those into cobble. Not cobble, into... yeah. Right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Eight wheat flour, that means I can make eight bread, which is good. Bread. Bread for the bread god. Right. I now have four jungle chests, which I'm just going to stick sort of here. And I'm going to stick specifically food items into this one. I'm going to take any items of food. I'm going to leave that in this. I don't treat that as food as such, I treat that as something that needs to be made into food. Which actually I could do now with these. I'm sure about doing that earlier. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Cotton isn't food. Those technically aren't food. Anything else that's strictly food? No. 
Not at the moment. Right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to just do this. Oh! Bugger. Make a bunch of these. Make a bunch of drying racks. I'm going to stick these in here. And I'm just going to flatten out a wall a bit. I don't really care about making this too presentable, because this is only a temporary base. I mean, I might eventually make it a bit more presentable, I don't know. I'm going to move this. I know that doesn't look too presentable, but... It's my pingers, damn it. I do what I want with it. <laughs> right. So I can keep on track of things. Sticky resin going there. Um. I'll just do that in the food stuff thing. Actually, come to think of it, because though it's not food at the moment, it's an ingre ingredient used to make actual food. Food, right? I'm gonna take this out. I'm going to shove these in here to make some jerky. Cool. And... Right. We'll also... Right. Right. Oh, both of those were lovely gashuals, which is not ideal, actually. Ah. I'm going to have to take out one of these um, saplings from here. We've got seven emergency saplings, that's good. At least we have a bunch of in case of emergency saplings. Right. Has this started producing anything yet? And I don't mean music. Right, we've got rabbit's foot and raw duck. So, I'm going to take out the duck. I don't know if I can use duck to make the generator. <coughs> of course, why is, why is to honk? Uh, steak cooked chicken, cooked mutton, cooked fish, cooked rabbit, cooked pork chop, steak... No, I cannot. That's unfortunate. Right, we are going to have to wait until we get a vanilla piece of food then. Uh... I can't get out of a door somehow. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to get the... We need more string. OW! What the hell? What the fuck just shot at me? Oh. Well, fuck you too. You asshole. That's one way of getting arrows, I guess. Right, I need to... I need to plug that up properly this time. I do not want to get shot at from... The, from... A, by a... a bing. Right. We're still gonna start saving wheat. For the generator. Right, anyway, we've made some progress. We've, we've built a leadstone energy conduit. Uh, an energy cell, even. Um, we've, we've, we've got a ground trap going for a culinary generator, which is going to be the next thing, because apparently um, those two mods... not uh, Industrial craft does not work very well with the, the, the mod. At least not in terms that I understand yet. Uh, and send a postcard if I can get those two things to actually, you know, pump one pump power into the other. Um, how, what's the best way of doing that? Because I don't want to like dirdle around for 30 episodes trying to figure out which wires connecting to which things. Because, well, frankly, they should just connect, shouldn't they? Really? <laughs> what? You, it, it's a wire. Come on. Electricity is electricity. God damn it. <laughs> right. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video here. Don't forget to leave a like and and comment down below. Penis!
so that we know you can sh you're sharing your support uh, and maybe uh, maybe Dr. Robotnik will visit you uh, in the net in, in the in during lockdown and he will give you the ability to he will give the ability to make great mechanical wonders in your own home wouldn't that be nice that'd be a nice thing to do wouldn't that be uh, something en entertaining you could do during your uh, uh, bored downtime anyway thanks for watching everybody's Kenneth Jigsack and I am out. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>